What's good with y'all niggas, bro? It's Sunday, bro. I'm finna put y'all glass niggas on, bro. Feel me? As you can see from the title of the video, bro, do not ever question yourself in life, my nigga. The moment you question yourself is the moment you fail. Do not ever go with the intent to win. Do not ever put yourself on the pedestal to win. And then change your goal at the moment that you about to lose. At the moment you think you about to lose, nigga. It's a reason why the greatest of all time never lose, my nigga. It's a reason why the greatest of all time are never, never satisfied with themselves, my nigga. They keep pushing. They keep pushing against all odds, nigga. They keep trying to win against all odds. You a 55 overall. You playing against a 99 overall, my nigga. You better try to destroy that 99 overall with your 55 overall. It don't matter. Do not ever change your mindset or your goal from the beginning. If your goal from the beginning was, oh yeah, I'm going to destroy this bitch, it better be that to the end. It better not change just because you're about to lose. Because that will set yourself up. You will never get anywhere in life with that shit. Oh God. I'm going to give y'all this example. So, this female, right? She was an idol. And being in that world, that in this universe that she's living in, being an idol is considered child's play to an actor, you feel me? And I really don't know the difference in real life. I don't give a fuck, but my nigga, she was an idol. And this big time actress pulled up to her school on all bullshit. She was like, nigga, I'm with the shits. So, you know her ass. She was like, man, I ain't finna let this bitch ass actress um, look, belittle me and pity on me, bro. So I'm finna challenge her. So basically, like, challenge her is like, say, say you're a basketball player, right? And you lit. But you see this NBA player coming to town and shit. He talking all this ruckus. Everybody getting his attention. I mean, he's getting everybody else's attention. Everybody looking at him like he a god and shit. He like, and you like, man, fuck that. And I'm lit. So you finna challenge him. That's how she was, bro. She was like, I'm finna challenge this bitch, bro. Because, you feel me? Nigga, I'm that nigga. She was like, it would feel so good to destroy this actress. This little white, this white girl, Princey Two Shoes, whatever, bro. So she was like, I'm finna destroy this fucking bitch. And then she... In this world, they gamble. In this gambling world, my nigga, the gambler, you know, they, they play card games, poker, all that extra shit. So, they was gonna do some uh, gambling game that has to do with acting and shit. And it was gambling on the acting skills or and singing and all that shit. So, she was playing in the intent, to, like her intent was to win. And while she was trying to win, she was showcasing her skill like, with the audience. And they was looking at her like, okay, she bring her A game. The actress came on, professional, feel me? She professional actress. She came on that bitch, Mwah! singing this shit on, on God. She was like, Mwah! on fucking Bobby. So she took the whole crowd by stand. Everybody was clapping. She was like, oh shit, this bitch good. And she was like, damn, bro. So like, it was the voting system. The voting system was like, um, you put your votes to either her or her. And it was 100 votes. Whoever got the most votes out of 100 wins, bro. She only got eight votes. The other bitch got 92, my nigga. That bitch got, bro. If y'all hear, y'all hear this shit, bro. Like that big ass airplane, bro. Get the fuck out my video, bro. Every time I'm about to spur some information, some fucking loud ass noise or some shit. But anyway, bro. She only got eight votes, my nigga. The that 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 crate that actress bitch. That bitch got 92. And she was like, damn, bro. Like, this bitch really good. Like, this bitch better than me, bro. She was like, I would not fail. I would not fail. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I can still win. So I was like, oh, yeah, nigga. I was like, oh, yeah, nigga. Get, get, get strong-hearted, nigga. Let's go. 
and can push yourself. I was like, oh yeah, I was, I was fucking with her. So they did this other challenge, and after that other challenge, my nigga, that bitch lost again. And she was like, damn, bro, what the fuck? I'm like, I don't know if I can beat this bitch. This bitch so good. Like, I, I just can't beat this bitch, bro. And she was like, you know, backstage and shit. Like, you you know, you get your makeup cracked up backstage. They was backstage and shit. And she was just sad, crying, like, I can't beat this bitch. She's ten times better than me. Like, in her mind and shit. And she was questioning herself, you feel me? And what you should never do in life, no matter what the opposition is, no matter what your goal is, to never question yourself in anything you do. Never question yourself in anything you do, my nigga. As soon as you as soon as you question yourself, you're setting yourself up for failure. You will destroy yourself in your own demise. You put yourself in your own corner. My nigga, it's it's not it doesn't matter what you're doing or who you're placing yourself up against, my nigga. You just need to go for it. And don't change, don't change your goal just because victory isn't certain, my nigga. Don't try to, don't be satisfied with losing. Do not go up against somebody thinking you're going to lose, my nigga. And let me, let me explain what happened after, after she started questioning herself. So she, she was in the room questioning herself. She was like, fuck this shit, bro. I know I'm gonna lose, so I'm gonna play her with everything I got. And trying to learn from this victory. Like, okay, a normal nigga would be like, props to her. But no, bro, fuck that shit, nigga. Fuck that shit, nigga. That's the weakest way to win, bro, on my mama. That shit is ass, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. I refuse to fucking win like that, my nigga. The bitch was saying some shit like, I, I really don't want to win. Like, I lost my will to lose. Bro, I know I just said, the bitch said that she lost her will to lose, but I meant to say she lost her will to win, my nigga. She said, she basically said to herself that, I know I'm going to lose this, to this bitch, so I'm going to try to play her with everything I got, knowing I'm going to lose, and I'm not going to try to win. I'm just trying to learn from this experience and see if I get stronger from it. Bro, I'm going to put the clip in right now and show y'all niggas. Hello. They just com they just finished completing the thing and this is what she finna say, bro. They just completed the challenge when she lost and shit. Like, do you see what she is saying, my nigga? She praising her even though she knows she... Bro, that, even, that ain't even the point, my nigga. What I'm finna say is, bro, how the fuck do you say you lost and the game ain't even over yet, my nigga? You already submitting to her. This bitch, bro. This bitch, bro. This got me mad as fuck. Right. I hate that shit. You know what she just said, bro? She just said, I hate people who move their goalposts because they think they can't win. 
So it's an excuse. Oh, I think I'm gonna learn from this loss. That's some bullshit. How the fuck are you changing your goalposts just because you know you're going to lose? I mean, just because you think you're going to lose, my nigga. Like, you don't ever change your goalposts just because a bitch is better than you. And you win. Nigga, you still go for the win. Because when you lose, ain't not trying to win, you're trying to learn from the battle as soon as you think you're about to lose. Nigga, that's... Nigga, that's, bro, that's not a, that's not a real L, my nigga. You defeated your own self. That's not even a real L. A real L is when you compete against somebody, thinking you're going to win, and then you fucking lose. That's a learning victory. That's a true L. Uh, that's, what, defeating yourself before, before the game is even over? Nigga, that's not no fucking vic, that's not no fucking L, nigga. You defeating your own self. You setting yourself up for failure. I, bro, this is coming with experience, my nigga. Never question yourself. You can, you, your purpose in mind, my nigga. Oh shit, thought that was a car coming. Your purpose. You feel like you sticking to some, but it's getting harder. Every time it's getting harder, nigga. That's the time you need to push through that bitch, bro. Every time it feels like this shit's so hard and I want to quit, bro. That is the time you must work the hardest on that shit, my nigga. Oh, God, bro. I know I'm waking up all these motherfucking neighbors. I can suck my dick. Oh, God. Bro, smell like shark ass. Bro. Damn, bro. I just know these niggas looking at me. Bro. Get the fuck out of my face, bro. Anyways, bro. Bro, what was I going to say? Yeah, bro. Damn, I done lost my track. I thought this shit. But yeah, bro. Um, yeah, if you have a purpose in mind, bro. Don't ever wash that shit away or quit on it just because you think you're going to fucking fail or you think it's too hard. I'm finna go more in depth with that shit right now. No, say say you balling with your niggas. You and your niggas hooping and shit. And you the king of the court. Like, you destroying all these... You, you destroying all these niggas, bro. Scoop, nigga. You, you motherfucking game winners and all that shit. You builded your confidence up over the motherfucking years you was playing basketball. You know what I'm saying? You you lit. You turn as fuck. A NBA player come to your basketball court. This nigga like, or you playing football? It's the same thing, nigga. You do you do the best routes. You fast as shit, catching all the motherfucking plays, nigga. Niggas get you on replays and shit. Niggas recording you and shit. You lit, nigga. You build your confidence, and while you dominating people, you build your confidence up, right? Some NFL player come to your shit. Some NBA player come to your shit, right? Since you already confident in your in your state of mind and you feeling good and shit, you like, all right, I'm finna destroy this nigga. I don't give a fuck he in the NBA. I don't give a fuck he in the NFL, nigga. Let's go. You hooping. You play, You dribbling. You start to play up. Check. You dribbling. Ba 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 ba. You shoot. Break. Your, re your teammate get the rebound. He pass it back to you. Oh, dribble, dribble. Steal. Nigga stole your shit. He took the ball and dunked that shit. You like, fuck. Already. And you running your route. You, you running super fast and shit. You about to catch that bitch. You ain't catch that bitch. It was his turn on the route. He going super fast. He going this way and shit. That nigga bopped the shit out your ass. He go one hand that bitch like Odell and that motherfucker, bro. And you like, damn, bro, what the fuck I'm going to do? You had all this confidence in the beginning. Nigga, I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck if the score 10 to 1, nigga. I don't give a fuck what the score is, bro, nigga. Nigga, you still play, nigga. You still play to win. It's that bullshit, bro. Nigga, oh God, nigga. The score could be 10 to 1 and the game go to 11. Because I don't fuck with them, nigga. So it's going either to 11 or 13. Nigga, the game could be going to 11, bro. Nigga, you play the fucking win, nigga. That is the most bitch-ass shit ever. Do not change your goalposts 
just because you think you're gonna lose, nigga. Do not settle with, oh, I know I'm gonna lose, so let me learn from this battle. Let me learn from this nigga. I'm playing to lose, but I'm trying to give him my all and, and learn from him. No, you play to win. You play to win. I don't give a fuck if it's Michael Jordan on that court, nigga. You're playing to fucking win, my nigga. You are playing to win. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You hooping on that bitch. You still ain't give up, nigga. You dribbling. He still that bitch. You still his shit back. He block your shit. Friend get the friend get the block. He thought back to you. You shoot that bitch. Scoop, nigga. That shit wouldn't never happen if you was playing on the intent to lose. Fuck. And you know what's crazy about that? That that an, it was this anime. This, the um the show I was watching was an anime. It was called Kakaguri. Bro, the bitch when you know when they were singing, the bitch had eight supporters. In the last game, she was like, "Fuck this shit! I know I'ma lose." Nigga, you had eight supporters, and you think that you're gonna? You think that that's the right way to try to win when them eight supporters rooting for you to win? You trying to lose, and them eight supporters been your day one since one, nigga. Those eight niggas been your niggas, bro. Those your niggas, bro. How the fuck you got eight niggas on your side, and your ass still bitching? You still scary. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's had me mad, bro. She was like, everybody in this crowd, everybody in this crowd, um, think this girl better than me, bro. I just know I'm... I know I ain't gonna win, bro. Let me just try to learn from this battle. Bro, fuck that shit, nigga. Nigga, you had eight niggas on your dick, bro. I'm not saying, like, on your dick for real, but you feel me? Like, you had eight niggas riding with you, bro. Those those, those was your day ones, nigga. Those are the, those the niggas that believe in your ass, bro. And your ass going looking like a bitch in front of them. Talking about something. I know I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna play to lose. Man, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Don't you ever question yourself in life, nigga. I'm doing this. I'm saying this off of experience, too. Do not ever quit on yourself. Do not ever quit on your goal. You will prevail, nigga. Every time you... Nigga, that shit is noticed. Every time you push through those times where you feel like you want to quit and you still go, nigga, I hope you know that shit gets noticed, nigga. The energy you will attract will be more blessings. All the energy that you will attract will be more blessings to you. There's no way that shit will not be unnoticed. Work hard and be determined, bro. Do not ever question yourself in life, bro. It's that nigga Sunday, bro. I'm out.